Good afternoon, it's September 4th. We're here on number one green, actually the approach with Jimmy Alston. And we've had some comments of what's going on here on number one. So Jimmy, take it away. Well, um, what, as you can see, all the turf has been purposefully killed with Roundup. Uh, we've now done our second application in about three weeks time. So we've got a really good kill here. Uh, this past spring, the Greens Committee, uh, due to a number of comments and less than desirable turf conditions due to the contamination of a lot of the off types, uh, we decided to regrass uh, this approach, this collar on number one, the same thing on number two, and also on hole number 15. Uh, over the summer, m mostly due to all of the uh, uh, the local golf course renovations that are going on, there's been a lot of talk about turf types and uh, all the different varieties out there, which one's best, worst, that kind of thing. So uh, about a month ago, we decided to kind of modify the project and instead of putting down 419 Bermuda again, which is what was primarily existing, we're actually going to do a, um, a test type um, of a deal and we're going to use three different turf types on these three different holes. Uh, hole number one is going to be Tiff Grand Bermuda Grass. Hole number two is going to be Celebration Bermuda Grass. And hole number 15 will be Diamond Zoysia Grass. Anything else you'd like to add, Jimmy? <laughs> well, we'll be uh, putting down the new turf during the next golf course closing, which is uh, September the 15th through the uh, 21st. Uh, we'll get all three holes done during that week. Uh, none of the holes will be closed. We might be playing this as, as ground under repair for a few weeks, uh, but uh, grow in will be very short since we're using sod instead of sprigs. And you're not putting plas platinum pass pellum here. Why? No, well, we've got that in a, a number of areas throughout the whole golf course from the driving range to several tees on the course. So we feel like we've got uh, enough areas to make a good evaluation of how that turf does here at Eagle Creek. Um, in, in our specific um, uh, conditions. Great, well, that's it for this video. We'll see you again next time, probably within the next week. We'll do another video to show the turf once it's being installed. Well, while it's being installed, actually. That's it for now, thanks.